Hello everybody and welcome to Living Raw with Rosie. So today I want to show you guys how I make one of my favorite salads, um, especially during the winter. This is a salad that I really love making during the winter because it's a very hydrating salad. This salad actually keeps me extremely hydrated because I tend to drink more teas and warm stuff and not enough water during the winter. I kind of forget to hydrate a lot as many of us do. So this salad is a very uh, high water content salad and it really keeps me hydrated. So it's, that's why I love making this during the winter and summer as well. Um, so this is what we have right here. We have one cup of um, finely um, diced uh, cauliflower pieces. Um, I don't dice them, I actually pull them apart and then make little tiny little pieces. Uh, we have one cup of diced uh, cucumbers. So I, de I slice the cucumber in half, I de-seed it and take all the seeds out and I dice the cucumber to little pieces. And I have two small, um, what are they, oh the green uh, vine ripe tomatoes, yeah green vine tomatoes. I have those and I also have one avocado diced up. I have a little uh, half of a half a cup of diced cilantro and a uh, half a lemon and a little bit of pink Himalaya salt. So this salad is very versatile and I'm going to show you guys uh, different ways that I eat this salad. So let's go ahead and put everything in the bowl. So I'm going to start with my cauliflower. And make sure you just cut the little pieces. Try to make them as uh, tiny bite size as you can. I see that uh, I have a lot of the big pieces in here. I didn't quite make them as small. But yeah, I don't, actually I don't, you could dice it, but I don't like to dice it. I prefer to take it apart because when I dice it, it makes a lot of crumbs. Okay, so next our cup of the diced, cucumbers and you can also use zucchini but I love using cucumbers because they they're higher in water content than zucchini put our tomatoes in there and our avocado and our cilantro and our pink salt make sure that we get that every the salt I think it's about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt pink Himalaya salt and that's optional. If you guys don't want salt in it, you don't have to put it in there. But that's another thing. I tend to um, put salt in some of my food more during the winter because, because I'm drinking more teas and I seem to get more dehydrated and I pee a lot of my minerals out. So this is a great way of maintaining minerals in your body. I'm gonna put the lemon in there, half of a lemon juice. There we go. I gotta show you guys, this looks so pretty. Look at the beautiful colors. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so now we're gonna mix this up together. And once you mix it up really, really good. Oops, <laughs> I put that too close to the edge of the sink. Okay, so, oh wow, this looks so pretty. Actually, I wanna taste this also for you guys. And for myself, I gotta taste and make sure that I put enough of the lemon juice and the salt. So the avocado's kinda making it, uh, it's actually coating it with like a little thick cream consistency. All right, so I'm gonna taste this. <laughs> so delicious you guys mm, yummy wow oh I left a little avocado in there okay so now I'm going to show you guys what how I prep this I can eat this three different ways I could have this on a salad I have um, like chopped up romaine lettuce here and I could put it on top of there and I could enjoy it like that as a salad, like this. Or 
I can make little cucumber bolts like this or zucchini bolts and I could put it in there just like that and enjoy it like this or my other favorite let me put these aside my other favorite is in a leaf and make it as a burrito or a taco so I could go ahead and put it in the center like this fold the sides in fold one side up and fold it like this and cut it in half actually I should have done this on my cutting board so let me put this here on the plate move this aside so I can show you guys get my cutting board and get my knife actually I could cut it in an angle and that'll look prettier so I want to show you guys exactly what it looks like, like this, mmm, yummy. So also, you could do this, this is what I usually do for my husband. So you get a um, collard green, a leafy green, which they're really, really, really delicious and dark green and full of nutrients, and you destem it. So I... Actually, I should have showed you guys how to do that. I think I have in other videos. So the stem is like this, and you just take your knife along the center and cut the stem off. That's how you're able to fold your burrito. So for my husband, I would put um, leftover quinoa for dinner. So this is quinoa that I had cooked for dinner the other day for him. And I would put some of that quinoa in the center and put some veggies, my veggie salad in the center like this. And I would fold that up. And it's easy to fold your burrito once you cut that stem up. Fold your collard green once you cut the stem off. Let me turn this over. Actually, I think I overstuffed it, but yeah, let's see how it looks when we cut it up. And go ahead and cut it in an angle. And I want to show you guys what that looks like. That looks absolutely delicious. So we're going to put all this on the plate. And there's the whole plate. You could go ahead and prep it any which way or enjoy it all of these ways, which I think I am. I'm going to enjoy this as a meal and share some with uh, my husband. But yeah, that's um, that's how I make this uh, salad and that's how I stay hydrated during the winter months. Remember, um, the cauliflower, the cucumber, the tomatoes and the avocado are extremely hydrated and they're really, really uh, rich in water content and minerals that we need that we tend not to get during the winter months because during the winter we tend to turn more towards um, people eat more breads they eat a lot of uh, uh, comforting foods pastas heavy sauces things that that are extremely um, dehydrating for the body and this is what's going to nourish and keep you healthy keep you giving giving you lots of energy giving you that healthy glow and ex and hydrating you so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give me a thumbs up like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on facebook living raw with rosie where i put a lot of great information on nutrition and i also take pictures of what i'm eating daily lately so if you guys want to know what i eat and how i Stay green and raw. You can follow me on that Facebook page. Thank you for watching, you guys, and I hope you have a great evening. Bye-bye.